I must warn you, he's a special, special creature. The guy is like if uh, I had no confidence. It's almost like he's sick. It's almost like he doesn't want to be here at all. He has a very defined, self-deprecating style. Make some noise for him. I love him. It's another new minute by the great Rick Diaz, everybody. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. uh, I've been trying to get rid of my toxic masculinity. Uh, I really miss COVID. I miss COVID. During COVID, people were staying six feet away from me, which was closer than before. Uh, I wouldn't hurt a fly if I tried. Uh, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't. Uh, does anybody here have a sexual bucket list? I can help. <laughs> I don't have a sexual bucket list. I have a sexual bucket, <laughs> and it's full <laughs> of tears <laughs> from Hans Kim. Wow, another amazing minute from Rick. Diaz. Again, calling out Hans Kim. I love that you want to take his job. You literally are a golden ticket winner. You get to be on the show anytime you want, but l you, you would think that uh, you would never guess, right? I don't even that, live that, here. That's not, he doesn't live here, and he literally wants to take Hans Kim's job from that's him. That's what foreigners do. They take Americans' jobs. <laughs> So are you still trying to protect Hans Kim? <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh my God. Get him. Get him. I don't care about, about the regular spot. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> so wait a second. You literally are leaving the United States of America next week. Yes, sir. And you have one more Monday left in town. One more Monday to take a man's job. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, though. If you win, you won't be here. Would you stay? Oh, shit. Listen, Hans Kim is selling out theaters all over the country. Comedy. I did an open mic at a pizzeria. <laughs> I feel like, fuck it. That's why I'm doing it. Hold I on. don't give a shit where this takes me. But I'll, see, I'll see what happens when it happens. But Hans Kim was doing an open mic in pizzerias just two years ago. Yeah, me too. <laughs> two years ago, I was doing open mics to an empty crowd in a strip club in Bangkok. I don't so what do you want? What exactly do you want? If you became a regular, you'd have to go back to Brussels. You can't afford to fly me. <laughs> you want me to fly you every week to, from Brussels to Austin? I'll fly myself if you can't afford it. What are you talking about? Oh my god. This guy's Run unbelievable. It. I am gonna fuck him. Shit. Fuck him, Kim. We finally found a way to keep him in Europe. <laughs> He's gonna need that free health care after you're done with him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shut up. So, I mean, Rick, seriously, explain yes. to us what the battle plan would be if you beat Hans Kim for regulorship. If I'm... Hans Kim beats me because he brings his A shit and he gets his act together and he beats me, we'll see what happens. If I beat him... What do you want? I'll give him an, an honest rematch at New Year's Eve in oh that my arena. Oh, God. Listen to that. I fucking love this idea. Now me too. you've sold me on it. Now there's a little storyline. There's a little punch to it. You know what? He had a great set tonight, but absolutely, Hans, sorry, bro. <laughs> Next week, your final week in town. 60 seconds versus 60 seconds. What if center. Hans wins and he loses his golden ticket? Whoa. <laughs> How does that sound to you? Will you put your golden ticket up on the line? If I lose, it's okay. I got the golden ticket. Nobody can take that away from me. If I lose it, I don't give a shit. This is like the retarded UFC. Yeah. 
It is. I mean, Hans Kim had, had five punchlines tonight. Yeah. My last joke tonight had five, five, had five punchlines. Wow. Look at that. I, I don't give it. a fuck. I came here having nothing. Where's Hans? Is Hans up there? What do we got? Oh, oh, there he goes. oh shit. He is not smiling, by the way. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me tell you guys something. All fucking, all entertainment aside, Hans absolutely hates the fact that I challenge him on his regular ship. It bothers him tremendously, but he does see the results week after week after week of the pressure. It's how diamonds are created, and here you go. You have this Rick Diaz who for two weeks in a row keeps dropping your... For no thing. reason. <laughs> You're There's an idiot. nothing funnier if you know him than a mad Hans Kim, by the way. What you're seeing is real. You see that smile? How would you like it if someone came to your job and was like, hey, I could do better at your job? I challenge you. A guy that I invited into my home, he played Catan with me and my girlfriend. I did a podcast with him. And th these are what Europeans are like. Don't turn into this. You are American, you have a backbone and a spine. My God, I love the nerd off you guys are having. It is incredible. I invited him to my house to play Catan. I let him use my retainer when he went to sleep that night. I swear to God, I gave him a 20% off lens crafters coupon. I let him borrow my fucking calculator. He needed to do a math problem. I, this is really gonna Dungeons and Drag on. <laughs> hey. That is true. Hans Kim, what do you think about this challenge? Now, I don't know if you caught it, but here's what's on the line. Rick Diaz versus you next week. Basically, whoever wins, nothing happens. But there's going to be a rematch on New Year's Eve in an arena in which either you win and you take Rick's golden ticket from him. Technically, this is like in pro wrestling when someone has both the heavyweight championship and basically the intercontinental championship at the exact same time. You would have a golden ticket, which would mean nothing to you other than the fact that you took it from some European that thought he could take your job. <laughs> Let me remind you, Hans, that you are beloved on this show, and every single time, I believe you're, what, 6 and 0 oh, all-time in challenges. How long have you been doing it? Four years. Oh, my God. Hans, how long have you been doing it? Ten. Oh, shit. Look how pissed he is. Some of you might not be able to see it. Maybe you need to know Hans a little bit better like I do. But that is his fucking furious face. Right now he's smiling, but you're gonna see it's gonna go right back to it. Watch Rick, say something, say something, Rick. Say anything, anything at all. <laughs> it's weird because he's kind of smiling. Most people, if they're smiling a little bit, you're like, oh, that person's all right. Hans smiles a little bit right before he's about to kill somebody. So Hans Kim, you have a chance to take Rick's golden ticket from him. Why don't, why, don't we just, why don't we just skip next week and announce it for New Year's Eve and we'll take care of business then. How about that? Does that okay. sound good? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Wow, Hans is extra excited about this. <laughs> New Year's Eve, golden ticket versus regular ship. Wow. We have a scale there. Why don't you stand on the scale for no reason whatsoever? We have an actual scale. 177.6 pounds. And here we go. Rick Diaz is going to... There you go. Rick Diaz is going to stand on the scale. This is incredible. It's, it's not picking up anything. Now it's 146.4. A weigh-in for no reason. New Year's Eve. Regular ship versus golden ticket winner for basically citizenship. Kill Tony, giving immigrants of all different shapes and sizes a chance at uh, making it big in show business.